In this video, I'm gonna walk you through 12 Facebook posts that generated $45,000 in 11 days, okay? These are from a campaign that I ran last year. And the reason I'm pulling these ones out of the vault is because we've had a lot of folks opting in and, and grabbing the, the offer breakdown. That's the first link in the description. You can check it out. Um, it shares the offer that we ran in this campaign. Okay, so I wanted to create this video, it's been on my to-do list for a little while, and uh, show you the posts that sit alongside it so you can get the complete picture, okay? Three main pillars, your content, your sales process, your, your DM conversations, and your offer, right? This content plus that offer means that the DM conversations become very, very short, right? Quick back and forth, couple of questions, boom, done, okay? The two other things, the content and the offer, are doing a lot of the heavy lifting, all right? If you haven't already grabbed that, uh, video and checked out the offer doc. You can do that after you watch this one and you'll get a, uh, a good picture of, of kind of how these things all play in together. Okay, we're gonna jump over to here and uh, and walk through some Facebook posts. I've got a doc uh, that breaks them all down. There'll be a link to that in the description so that you can go about reading them at your own pace. I've, uh, I've broken down um, six of them in this video, just pulled out some key components to highlight some of the more tactical or strategic stuff that's going on behind the scenes, just so you can start thinking about that as you're reading the posts in your own time. I'll put a link in the description over to that doc so that you can see the posts and go through that uh, at your convenience. Um, give the video a like if you get any value, subscribe if you want more content like this, check out all the links and all that kind of stuff. Let's jump into the computer and let's uh, get it done. Cheers. All right, folks, let's jump in. 12 posts, 45 grand, 11 days, okay? I've pulled up a couple across the top. I'm not gonna walk you through every single one of these. Some of them are quite long. Um, what I will do is I'll hook you up with a link in the description. You'll get access to this doc and then you can click on any of these posts. It's gonna take you over to my group. So if you're not already a member, you'll need a request to join. And then you're gonna be able to look at all of these posts in your own time, okay? Um, otherwise this video would end up being way, way, way too long, all right? There was a couple of other posts in the sequence. Um, I just pulled out uh, some of the, the best examples um, for you. These were the ones that did the majority of the heavy lifting from a content and from a sales perspective. Uh, the others were like a couple of little testimonials and stuff um, along the way, but these are the main ones that I wanted you guys to uh, really see because these are, these are effectively what sold it and what generated the, the leads that ultimately made the sales, okay? So uh, let's jump into it. Before we, before we go into the particular posts, I wanna zoom out real quick. Strategically, when we help people build out their ecosystem, right, traffic, nurturing hubs, offers, how we get the whole thing flowing, we really think about uh, at the highest, highest level, right? Like it, as you zoom in a little bit more, there's more nuance to more phases and stuff, but at the highest, highest level, three pieces, what you sell, how you sell it, who you sell it to. What you sell is your offer, how you sell it is your sales process, and who you sell it to, In uh, it really encompasses your, your audience, your content, your relationship um, with all the people in your um, world, how you communicate with them, all of that kind of stuff. Okay, from a, from a strategic perspective, you can elect how much weight you wanna put on any one of those three pillars to ultimately make a sale. Okay, the people that are doing strategy sessions are putting more weight on the phone on their sales process. That's totally, totally okay. We use a different model. We put more weight on our offer, right? And if you wanna see the offer that corresponds to these posts, first link in the description, it'll hook you up with a video that walks through it line by line. We create what are called offer assets. Okay, this is something that we kind of, uh, create and then keep improving and improving and improving, does the heavy lifting, does the selling, means that we don't have to get on the phone. On the other side of it, you've got the content that's doing a lot of heavy lifting and that's the part I wanna walk you through today in this particular um, campaign example, all right? When you put more attention on the content and the offer, it means the sales process can do a lot less in the middle, all right? That means that this money was generated with very, very quick messenger chats, back and forth, boom, done, right? So let's break down, um, I've pulled up uh, six, out of, the, out of the 12, so half, you can look at the rest. I'll make sure that link's in the description. I'll get the team to drop that in, okay? So this was the one that, uh, this is the one that kicked it off, right? This is, there's a couple of couple of parts that I, that I really wanna bring to your attention in each of these. Um, in this one in particular, I want to, I wanna highlight this first part, okay? I'll read it to you and then we'll talk about the, the strategy behind it. Let me know if this sounds familiar, right? You sit at your computer trying to pluck up the energy to type up another post, email, uh, make another video, same old shit that everybody else is doing because you feel like you should do it, right? But all the while, deep down inside, you know it's not going to make you money, right? Sure, people might engage, you get some likes, some friendly comments, but it isn't gonna pay the bills. You're still gonna wake up tomorrow to the same harsh reality. You don't know where the next sale is coming from and you don't know how to fix it. But you've been told over and over that more content equals more money. 
right? So you blindly keep doing it over and over again. I'm in pretty, pretty good detail describing a situation that a lot of the people in my audience would be feeling, right? We help coaches, we help consultants, we help high ticket affiliate marketers, people who are creating content to try and sell stuff. And the ones that are struggling to break it, right? To really break through, that is how they're feeling. How do I know that? Because I've worked with so many of them because I've been there myself and I've overcome it. And I know my avatar and I know the people that I wanna work with really, really well. And that comes through experience, okay? So if you can't write these little kind of mind movie things for your people, maybe you need to go deeper on who you wanna work with. Uh, maybe you just need to spend more time thinking about it and really mapping it out and thinking, what are they going through? What are they experiencing? And then this comes down to being able to describe real world situations, okay? The, the, the high level fluffy stuff doesn't cut it. Real world situations, right? Like more people might engage, you'll get likes, friendly comments. That's shit that's happening to them like right now. So if they're in that situation and they're ultimately feeling that way, I don't know where the next sale is coming from, it's gonna grab them, okay? Then it goes into talking about what the um, the offer that we're kind of launching is all about and there's a and there's a photo, okay? That's the part of this first one that I wanted to highlight to you. Um, you, can, you can jump in and go through the full post in your own time. Okay, here's another one, right? I closed 20K, 20,500 sales this morning with a Google Doc and 30 minutes in Facebook Messenger. I did it my over, over my morning coffee on the couch. No funnels, no bots, no whiz bang videos, graphics or tech. This resulted in over 20K AUD collected that will be in my bank tomorrow. So how did I do it? Okay, so, if this, so, so for someone who might be spending all week on the phone, right? 30 minutes in Messenger, no phone calls, a Google Doc, it's, a pretty strong grab, right? It's going to really, really grab people who have pain points that this can help solve, okay? The result's attractive, the vehicle's unique, the time is efficient, right? So for anybody out there selling this kind of stuff, it's going to be an attractive hook, okay? Then I go into, and this is a key, key, key lesson that I really wanna get across. Then I go into providing some actual value, right? I think people think that value and campaigns or promotions are two completely separate things. You can bake value into your promotions. In fact, I encourage you to do it because your value isn't just like how to stuff, right? Your value can be setting off light bulbs for people or them saying, holy shit, that's how it works. And if that's the thing that nudges them over the line, what do you think the next step that they're gonna take? They're going to buy your thing, right? Because you've unlocked it for them. So you can really, really create some big waves by actually integrating value into your promotional content, okay? Like we provide a ton of value, right? Most people aren't gonna share this kind of stuff with you, right? Or break it down in this kind of detail. I feel like we provide a lot of value and people tell me that we do, but we still sell stuff. They go hand in hand, okay? So then I break down, right? Well, what's key to making this happen, right? It's not some fancy sales process. It's not some fancy video or fancy funnel, right? Key piece to making it happen is having a really, 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 really strong offer. And then I literally walk them through a checklist, right? Questions they should ask themselves in order to map out their offer and make sure that it's strong, okay? The value thing brings up really weird stuff for some people. They're like, yeah, but if I give it all the way on the front end, no one's gonna wanna pay me on the back end. And yeah, I mean, if you're kind of a, I guess if you're like a one trick pony and all you've got is a little bit of super secret information, which it's not gonna be, right? Like it's out there, other people have it. You're gonna be, you're gonna be a commodity. Right? Even if even if you give everything away on the front end, you can still make money on the back end helping people implement and tailoring it because they don't have the experience to do it themselves and that's where the real value is, okay, in terms of making the transaction. Um, so don't be afraid to, to give, uh, give away a lot of value on the front end. You'll, you'll grow your brand, right? Your brand will grow with the value on the front end, all right? So that's what I walk through here. I grab them with this attractive hook, right? And then I give them some genuine value and I say, look, if you want help with this, hit me up. And then there's a photo, so a bit of social proof. Okay, so there's another lesson there, right? Make sure you're weaving value into your promotions. Okay, another one, right? Wanna hear more I'm ins and less sounds of silence when you send your offers, right? Let's dance. Awesome, here's the link to the video, Gary. Crickets, hey Gary, what did you think? Crickets, hey Gary, how was your weekend? Did you watch it yet? Crickets, hey Gary, saw your post, awesome trip. Uh, what'd you like most about the video, by the way? Crickets, Gary, do you hate me? Right, <laughs> this is, again, describing real world situations that people are going through that will grab them, right? Now, obviously that's a hypothetical scenario, but I can tell you from experience, because I know what my people have tried, right? It's important to know what your people have tried and, and, and isn't clicking for them. I can describe these real world situations. So if they're 
if they're in, like, let's say they're sitting on, on, on the bus or whatever and they've got their phone, right? And they're following up with a lead, an, another lead that's ghosted them, and then they start scrolling and they see this, and this correlates to exactly what they're going through at the moment. Do you think that's going to grab them? Of course it is, right? Better than like, here's three tips for not getting ghosted, right? Like this is way stronger, right? Way stronger, okay? Then again, we roll into, hey, real value, right? Well, why don't you try this, right? Why don't you give this a go? It's an actionable tip that they can actually go and implement, right? And again, more social proof. They can see, you know, boom, this is working, closing deals, all that kind of stuff. All right, so those your ability to describe, describe those real world situations that your prospects are going through, incredibly, incredibly powerful in your uh, in your content. Okay, here's another one, right? How to close 5K sales in five minutes with no sales call. I want to highlight to you how to drastically reduce your time, uh, your sales time using this very simple concept, right? And then I walk them through it, actually provide helpful stuff. And then I say, do you want to rock and roll on, on implementing this together? Okay, value, 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 right? Here's one that, there's a couple of points I wanna highlight. One, again, real world situation. So you've made a few sales, but things have stagnated, right? Maybe you've pulled in five to 10K over the last few months, but it's sporadic. It's inconsistent and you just can't get that hockey stick growth you've heard other people talk about and seen others unlock. Reality is momentum isn't working for you. Let me know if this sounds familiar. I love this line, right? It's really, really potent. You break through with a sale or two, sun is shining, blah, 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 right? Life is good, this is it. And then the dry spell kicks in, right? You feel like you can't sell to save your life. So you try harder and harder. And then that drives people away because you sound desperate, right? You know, you can do it. You've done it before. I'm describing exactly the thought pattern that people go through and the actions that they go through because I know my people, okay? And this is where knowing your audience really, really well is just, it's a non-negotiable, okay? The other point that I wanna show you down here is laying out a path, laying out a plan of exactly what is going to happen, right? If you do this and you do this well, you're not gonna generate a ton of leads, but the leads that do reach out are gonna know exactly what is about to happen and you'll close, I, like, I'd have to go back and pull out the exact numbers. I would say that this campaign closed at like 80 plus percent of everybody that reached out bought, right? On a 5K offer. So here's exactly what's gonna happen. You're gonna message me, I'm gonna ask you three questions, I'm gonna send you this thing, you're gonna say, I want, you're gonna give me one of three answers, right? Then we're gonna do this, then we're gonna do this, then we're gonna do this, then we're gonna do this. There's no ambiguity, right? Compute, confused people don't buy and uncertain people don't reach out, right? So lay out the red carpet and go, look, here's exactly what's gonna happen. I'm not gonna send you a two hour webinar, I'm not gonna ask you to get on a 600 minute phone call, right? It's gonna go bang, 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 and we're gonna get it done, all right? I give them that certainty to take the next step, right? Because it can be it can be intimidating, right? Well, I don't know what I don't know what's going to happen next. Where am I going to have to go? And some of these sales processes are so bloody drawn out, right? We keep it real simple. Sometimes we get people to apply, sometimes we don't. Um, but it's here's the offer. Do you want to do it? Right? Really, 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 really simple. Okay. We don't want to waste people's time. People who spend money, right, are typically not mega time rich, right? They, they don't have a ton of time to waste. So we keep our offers really, really efficient, right? And we don't need to do 90 minute strategy sessions. Here's what we think we can help you with. Do you want to do it? Boom, let's get the deal done, right? And we lay out that roadmap for them. So that's, that, that concept can flow into a lot of different things. Um, I've got a video called uh, about collaborative selling that talks about this at Deeper. I'll get the team to drop the link to that in the description as well. But thinking at all opportunities about is my prospect or my audience clear on the next steps? And if they're not clear, you're, um, you're doing your business a disservice because it's going to stop people from taking those next steps forward. Okay, one last one that we'll, we'll take a quick peek at um, and then you can check out the link in the description, pull up this doc and, and go through them at your own leisure. Want the cure to the disease for spending hours in Messenger or on long calls that don't convert? Again, right? Value, value, value. This is actually like real helpful stuff, okay? Um, you know, stop selling the hotel, hotel room and sell the whole motherfucking getaway package, right? How do we do that? Inclusions, guarantees, pricing, bonuses, how it's positioned, who's it for, right? So actually giving them like helpful tips and stuff to go through, right? Stop slinging your product to everybody, giving them examples of content that kills it. Like I've said this over and over again, but, but genuinely, genuinely helpful stuff in your content and real world detailed. These are long posts, but this is how you generate leads that will convert at a super, super high rate, right? Again, 
Here's what happens, pathway, right? It's really, really clear. There's no ambiguity, okay? And you're ready to hear those sweet striped cha-chings way more often. Hit me up, we can have a quick chat about it. Happy weekend, right? This is me hanging out by the pool with my laptop. Right. So there's a couple of pieces that I wanted to pull out for you there. Hopefully that will, you know, light bulb a couple of things as you go through them um, at your own pace. But uh, there's 12 really strong posts, killer campaign. Um, if you want to check out the offer doc that goes with it, like I said, first link in the description, it'll give you a video that breaks it all down. And that'll give you a pretty good picture of kind of how we do things, right? We have a pretty simple model. We help people build out an ecosystem, right? I'm at the top of my ecosystem, the Jacob Karras brand. You're at the top of your ecosystem whatever your name is, brand, right? You need traffic sources. You need things in place to get people coming to you, right? Then the people that come into your world, they need content to consume, like YouTube videos like this, like posts, like emails, all that kind of stuff. We help you craft that, right? We call that nurturing. Then you need something to sell those people, right? We help you build an offer asset, right? An example of that is in that first link in the description. And we give you the tools and, and, and frameworks and scripts and stuff in order to sell it. Okay, and we get that cash flowing, then we can look at more advanced offers, building out a full value ladder, adding different platforms to diversify your lead flow, all that kind of stuff, right? It's a lot of fun once you get it rolling, we keep it super simple. And hopefully this gives you a good um, example of a couple of posts from a, a campaign that we did and uh, just a couple of the nuances to it so you can start going deeper. If you become, uh, if you become excited about learning content, it'll pay you very, very well, okay? Hope you got some value from that one. I will talk to you soon. Have a great day. Cheers.